Hey everybody, it's time for the sixth devlog of my indie game, which is a shoot 'em up that I'm coding in Swift using Sprite Kit and Gameplay Kit. Since the last time I built the first iteration of a level editor, which means that this, this is gone. No more level data laid out by hand directly in the source code using huge arrays without overview. I am building the level editor as a Mac app within the same Xcode project as the game, so I can share relevant code. By doing it this way, the level editor has access to the classes and assets, so it easily can reproduce the game behavior in the editor as I move forward. Uh, the editor automatically uses the graphics from the game, which at this time also means it's still the same old placeholder graphics in the editor until I update the actual game with new assets. For the initial iteration of the editor, I have replicated editing the data I previously had as an array in the game, which means that I now can add enemies, I can delete enemies, and I can position enemies together with adjusting the enemy's triggering position in the level. So for a selected enemy, I can move around the trigger point, and I can choose which movement pattern to use, or the ones that are currently available in the game, as well as changing what type of enemy it is. The editor also tracks and displays some position data, which I found helpful to have. Let's just say that this is way faster and way more convenient than previously when I'm setting up a level. When I press the save button, the level gets saved out to a JSON file right inside the project. So I can immediately start up the game and play on the new version of the level. I don't want to spend time adding features by guessing what I might need, so I'm going to fight with this version of the editor for a while and see what more features that will be most helpful to have and implement them as I go forward. Um, some things I can think of that I probably will end up doing is grid snapping when I move things around. Actually. I probably want to have a suite of snap and alignment tools, including aligning informations. Uh, I can see the need for duplicating a group of enemies and move the group to a new position, which leads to I want to have multi-select and move the multi-selection in one go. For sure, I'm going to need that. And maybe also some kind of formation tool so I can design different kind of formations when I'm set up the enemy patterns. Um, which maybe also an editor, a mode in editor where I can create moment paths. That might be, and again, I'm not sure. Then a big one. I'm going to need a mode so I can sort of play the game inside the editor where I can scrub back and forth in time. That's something that I sort of know is going to be tremendously helpful to design fun levels to play. That concludes the first iteration of the level editor. I'm going to revisit it after I've added some more features to the game and start to feel what else I might need. Anyway, so next, I think it's time to get rid of this boring background and build a proper handler for the background tiles and graphics, which also will be shared with the editor, of course and then make a first pass of creating some actual background graphics, which also will force me to start to deal with aspect ratios and different screen sizes. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I have a blog at code.bitbibop.com where I write more in-depth articles with code examples. Feel free to check that one out. You can also follow me on Twitter where I'm at Artstorm. See you next time.